this is this is of a magnitude we've never seen in our lifetime, where a state with Governor Abbott, who has not been that hardcore about these things, to be sure, but you know certainly as Abraham Lincoln said, stand with a man when he's right, for as long as he's right, and part with him when he's wrong. Right now he's right about this, and the mere idea that the federal government is going to al- allow the invasion of the country, and that when a state objects the way they have, and the court's now going to weigh in in full, there could be a constitutional crisis like we have, we have not seen since the Civil War, and I don't think people fully appreciate that. Well, Hey, you doing, everybody? My name is Simple Sun. Welcome back. If it's your first time here, um, I cover a lot of the nowadays politics, what's happening, current events. Um, right now, we're covering the border very heavily because, I mean, that's kind of the main story going on, isn't it? Um, you've probably been hearing a lot of words like civil war, um, standoff, uh, multiple states backing Texas, stand with Texas, and guess what? Rightfully so. Um, as you can see, Brian Kennedy from Real America's Voice um, is kind of just laying it out for everybody. you see seen in that clip. Um, we're going to continue with that. Um, check it out, and I'm going to come back, and we'll talk about all the other things they got to say. Walk me through that because it's uh, – yeah, I can feel it already. Well, this whole idea of a Republican guarantee and that the federal government guarantees to the states – that they're that they will be protected from invasion is pretty clear and it, it's not ambiguous and the idea that there are people crossing our border and one we don't know where they're from they're coming in numbers that are invasion like if not literally an invasion the hundred thousand coming from communist china i know that's probably like one of the worriest parts is like there's tens of millions of people crossing our border all the time. We literally have no idea what their intent is. And even if it, even if it was the, the, the most simplest intent that you could possibly imagine, it's still not correct for allow us to do it. You can see in, in other videos all across, you know, X and Instagram and Facebook, whatever you want to see, where you consume your news from, you obviously see massive numbers of military aged males military aged males it, it, it if you can take any other context imagine if tens of millions of israelis were crossing into palestine or tens of millions of palestinians were crossing in israel there's going to be individuals that have that issue if you can't protect your border you're automatically unsafe so we're going to continue with the video and see what else they got to say. I was just chiming in uh, with my two cents. I, I truly believe that we may be on the brink of civil war. I, I, I believe that. Many other people believe that as well. But we'll get back into it. These are military age men. It's ten com- Frank Gaffney's got the piece up right now in War Room. Natalie just got it up for us. I need to put it up in Denver. And Grace and I need to put it. And Carly, if you can, in our telegraph, telegram team, you need to put it up. This is remember we say hundred thousand. That's ten combat. People understand ten thousand is a combat division. We hit the beaches in Normandy uh, for D Day. I think with one hundred forty five thousand uh, troops. Uh, Patton's Third Army was three hundred twenty five thousand troops. This is what happens in a month. These are these are massive, massive combat division type invasions. Special operatives. I mean, yes, combat divisions. They're not carrying rifles. These are special operatives who are in this country, the amount of sabotage they can create in this country in 2024, an election year, the idea, I mean, all praise to Governor Abbott for for standing up this way. Where is everybody else? I think there's 25 states now signed up to this. I mean, like I was saying, they said it too, you know, military-aged males and, and, you know, hundreds of thousands coming from China. Um, I I did a story uh, a few days ago where... they actually covered the numbers. It, it was about 10,000 just in the first few weeks of 2024, you know, and then we're facing off against a little bit of everything. I mean, in a prior video I did, his name is Semedov Ramanov, right? Uh, there's Kat, Katvov Redeemed. 
that uh, did a TikTok video that kind of laid out exactly who this guy is. Um, when you he's been viral, but when you see the video of him in it, you're gonna be like, oh, I've seen this video. Well, if you haven't heard, this guy is uh, bad news. Yeah, um, so we're gonna check that out. And uh, as you can see on your screen right now, that's who he is. That's from the uh, prior video I did. But we're going to find out how really bad this dude is. Oh, you're going to want to stick around for this one. You know that Muslim migrant that's going viral right now for the disturbing comments he made towards the reporter? Well, I was able to locate some disturbing facts about who this gentleman truly is. Check this out. Like soon you're going to know who I am. His name is Mahsam Samadov. The entitlement, the entitlement. No, believe me, I'm much better than that. And he's here for a purpose, and I'm about to show you what. Mavsam Samadov is a leader of a Muslim group called Azerbaijani Islamic Party, and he just got out for serving 12 years in prison for trying to overthrow a government. I was able to locate some disturbing details on a government website of his arrest record. He served 12 years in prison and he was sentenced on October 7, 2011 and was released on January 19th, 2023. And his charges were arms trafficking, illicit use of weapons and conspiracy to commit treason and terrorism. Samadov was charged with preparing a crime, preparing terrorism committed on preliminary arraignment by a group of persons, by organized group of criminal community, preparing terrorism committed with application of firearms or subject used as a weapon, illegally purchasing, transferring, selling, storing, transporting, and carrying weapons. What is he doing here? Look who they're letting in our border and how many have gone undetected. Share this video and let me know in the comment section what you think about this open border crisis. As you can see from that video, uh, trafficking arms, trying to overthrow governments, treason, um, all this laundry list of evil, the, basically uh, a bad guy from any, you know, uh, John Christian novel you've ever written or read in your entire life. Um, this guy's just crossing our border willy-nilly and threatening other reporters and and just saying right to our face that you can't do nothing about it. It's because we have an open border, right? How does somebody from that, you know, particular world, the criminal element, terrorist organizations, head of uh, Islamic Brotherhood of Azerbaijan, how in the world did he feel that he could just cross our border without retribution? Well, it's because we allow it, right? We allow these things to happen. It's not, it, this isn't in a vacuum. It's not 1987 where, you know, a few people are crossing the border, even though that was wrong too. There's something else going on, right? And we have zero protection. The states have to do it on their own. They have to, right? This isn't, and, and I, I want to be clear, when we use, people use the word civil war, we're not talking about 1865 civil war, 1861, 1865 civil war. This has nothing to do with race, because if Eastern Europeans were, were coming in mass, tens of millions every year, you know, just the males, just the men, just the military age men, we should have an issue with those too. We should blow their, their, their planes out of the sky. Right? We shouldn't allow them in here either. So it has nothing to do with race. It's zero. Zero about race. I know people will make that argument, but it's not. That's not what it's about. And we have no protection at the top. Zero. And if you don't believe me, here's the guy that's supposed to be protecting us right this moment. <laughs> As you see, that's the President of the United States, Joe Biden. And this jackass is talking or listening to a barrel, right? There's so many videos of him just in, insane. He's clearly not in charge. I mean, I know his name's on the top, but he's not running anything. He's not actively engaged. He can't be, right? You can't logically tell me that that guy is engaged on such an intimate level of what we need as citizens of the United States of America, right? 
we have totally lost control, right? It, it, it's it's absurdity. We're at a level of you know just denial from from the left. Really, it's it's the Democratic uh, base. It really is. You truly believe that that guy is going to protect us? You need to come to terms that this is. You need something stronger. You see these videos every day, all day long, and it's nothing but people that will just basically take your country because they lost theirs, right? Let's just say that they lost their country. Let's say that they lost their country to the bad guys. Well, guess what? They're going to have to become bad guys to get a free country of their own, right? Why is it that we're imposed upon because of this this free nation this this land of immigrants well there has to be a breaking point right there's so many other things that we don't bring from the past that we should but they want to pick and choose the left wants to pick and choose what we bring and say about ourselves nowadays so there's i find i find it ironic that they always use this as a we're a land of immigrants but everything else that was also good from the past, they ignore. Or they say, oh, no, no, it, this is, you know, some kind of weird white supremacy. When it's not, it, it's literally just an act of defense. We're trying to defend ourselves. Because there's going to come a day throughout history that people have been invaded. And it looks like it now. They're marching into our country unopposed. And our our enforcement arm, the enforcement arm of our own country, are standing by and watching. So, again, hopefully this comes to terms. Hopefully this comes to a head and gets solved. Um, doubtful. It's a larger problem than just saying, you know, everything's okay and washing your hands of it. They are criminals. They have broken the law coming here. In the face of everything else, everybody else that tried to do it legally, you basically need to stop doing it legally and you could just come across the border whenever you want. So I'm Simple Son. If you enjoyed the content, give me a like, subscribe, ring the bell. Um, hopefully there's simple answers to these very complicated problems. Basically, we need to defend ourselves with force if necessary and stop all this nonsense. So I'm going to leave you with a clip of your new neighbors, and I'll see you in the next one. Hola, ¿de dónde son? Venezuela. 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 Culpa de una dictadura.